the Romans stole eight obelisks from Egypt. Jah power. Be, be king. Look, I told you. I told you. I told you. Now, no other city in the world has many obelisks as Rome, even Egypt. <laughs> Most of the ones that have survived modern days were brought to brought as trophies from ancient Egypt. Again, he got your history, and they ain't just in Rome. The motherfuckers is in Turkey, New York, Istanbul. Okay, people like Constantine, Julius Caesar, all took obelisks from Egypt. Now, if these, it, see, again, like we was talking about the other video. If you the ancient Egyptian, why the obelisks ain't already in Rome? Why ain't, why did you have to ship African uh, artwork to Rome? If you the already Egyptian, don't nobody want to hear that shit. Talk about the Africans as well. Get out of here. Ancient uh, Egyptian obelisks are a hallmark of Rome. Are a hallmark of Rome. See? He, he want to be you. There is no other city in the Christian world. What do Christianity got to do with the ancient Egyptians? See what I'm saying? They done took so-called, uh, but then they turn around and say, oh, that's pagan. He only telling you that shit holy. He only telling you that it's pagan so you won't look at that shit. That's it. 13 monolithic obelisks. Eight of them brought to Rome during the imperial area of, of Augustus in 10 BC. The last uh, by the will of the emperor of Rome. Uh, Constant, Constantine in 357 in the addition to the city copies of uh, Romans themselves after the death of Cleopatra. Ain't that what we were just talking about? In 30 BC, Augustus celebrated one of the greatest victories. See what I'm saying? A large part of presents of uh, military trophies and symbols of power of the pharaohs taken to Rome. So they took the power of the pharaohs to Rome. Look, as far as uh, cited uh, politicians, Augustus felt that the obelisk could become part of his public propaganda, especially if he uh was in was on and in fact the obelisk, but the way became the symbol of the uh, state wisdom. The uh, the uh, taller obelisks were elected to uh prohibit the places uh Maximus Circus of the Maximum Vatican Circus and Circus. Ventura. Ventura. Egyptian obelisks was uh, transported and shipped by sea of the ancient uh, Ostia. Some uh, monoliths were divided into sections and uh, collected until a stable uh, uh, place was found. The Romans were proud of the uh, unusual stella, granite stella of the time. The proud of the numerous barbarian invasions, the obelisk was torn down into pieces unnecessarily uh, granite and weathered the flood of floods in Rome centuries, erased the memories of the glorious time. Now look. See. Now cause I gotta go here. I gotta, I gotta, gotta go here. See. Oh, let me get, get out of it. Let me click out of it. See, he been stealing from Africa for a long time. See, y'all at like the transatlantic slave trade was the first time the Africans was forcibly removed from Africa. That's a lie. That, that, that's not true. We've been fighting these pipe people for 2,000 years. And see, this is what they want right now. Even then, they want the resources of Africa. Do you do you know smartphones will not work without this African material, cold tan? So, 
by me on the mic right now wouldn't even be possible if it were for Africa. All these motherfuckers over here got a cell phone. But if you ask them, is there African, they'll say no. Well, bitch, get my cell phone back then. Get my cell phone back. Okay? Get my shit back. Boom. Now, this is what I was telling y'all on the other video. If Adam and Eve were truly the first people on earth, then who built who? Then who, then who built the much older Sphinx of Africa? And where did their sons and wives come from? So you see right here, so-called Adam and Eve, 6,000. And then you got the uh, Sphinx, 26,000. So you mean, and then the God, so-called, put in Genesis, he created the light, the, the light on the fourth day, and he, he created the earth on the sixth day. So you mean, that how was the, if you created the earth 6,000 years ago, God, how the hell is the Sphinx? What, the Sphinx was just floating on air or some shit? You see what I'm saying? It had to have some land to be on. The Bible was saying the earth ain't but 6,000 years, but when they uh, date this Sphinx, it's, 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 it's 10 times as older than it. So somebody lied. These profound contracts existed because the Bible is not a history book. It's not a history book. It is a work of fiction that the uh, gullible and narratives uh, accept as that you accept as facts. They're just facts. Now look at this right here. I'm about to bust them right here. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? I'm about to bust them right here. Where is it? There it is right there. Boom. Here you go right here. There's no proof that Allah existed. There's no proof that God existed. There's no proof that Spider-Man existed. Nigga, period. So, what it is, man. See, again, the white man in love with Africa. And he tricked the native Africans. What did Jomo Kenyatta say? The motherfuckers came with them Bibles when the Africans had all that cotan and gold. Told them to get on their knees and pray, gave them a Bible. And the white man had all the gold, cotan, and land. Nigga, that's what happened. And they doing the African Americans like that, but they just doing it to them to keep them from even looking at Africa. See, it gotta be something there. Why is they investing all this time and money to keep us separate from Africa with this propaganda bullshit. Why is they doing it? The uh, government is doing it. The government is doing that. They pushing, uh, you know, y'all need to stay in America. But the white people that live in America saying, nigga, get the fuck out. Why is the government pushing that? Because he know if we go over there and get in our brothers and sisters here within a year, that motherfucker, his whole society, the motherfuckers, they have to go bomb Arabia again to get some oil. Because where else you going to get it? Texas cannot supply the amount of oil that you're going to need for all these cars in America. So where are they getting all the oil from? They not getting it from the Arabs. Y'all killed the little Suleiman man. And shit, drop, drop, drop the goddamn bomb on this, on this, on this, on this, on this, on this caravan or whatever it was. Shot him out the sky or whatever. So you're not getting it from the Arabs. Where are you getting the oil for the United States to make all this gas? They getting it for Africa. And trading the African so goofy, giving them niggas some plastic rice. <laughs> and say this shit is ordained by God <laughs> man I gotta show one more and I'm done with y'all for the night now watch this shit right here if blacks were to uh, to uh, if blacks were to be slaved again 90% would say it's God's will <laughs> straight up and down cuz
Because you letting them take everything. You let them take everything. If blacks were to be enslaved again, 99% of these motherfuckers will say, this shit is God's will, nigga. God's, God ordained us to be enslaved. <laughs> <laughs> these are all man-made concepts nobody knows. Who and what God is, what it look like, what it sound like, what language it speak. But we know that it's something happened. Because the earth is here, but it no goddamn goofy white man created. See, the ancient Egyptians called God Amen, which means the hidden one. That means you don't know. That means God is, 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 is so, you know, gigantic. You can't even fathom a God and what it truly is. And see, that's what the ancient Egyptians are saying. And they show an anthropomorphic being of a man that look like them. Okay? First, they look like them, but he all black, which means you can't really see him. But they know it's something there. We all know that, but we don't know if it, God, so we don't, that's a man-made word that come from the Greek, it means theos. The Greek came up with the word God. The African had different principles, but he also created his own God. He was the first one to have the thought. And so, if, boom, if, if Rome can come into Africa and take all these, see, when you look at a museum, whether it's Britain or wherever, you see that's a trophy case. That's a trophy case. That's like he's saying, bitch, we won the championship. Put another one in the uh, trophy case, baby, fuck me. We went over here and stole the African shit. They ain't gonna do nothing about it. They gonna turn around and say, if blacks were saved again, massa, 90% of us would be down with. And Africa and America and the islands and goddamn Asia, every goddamn way. So this is the main thing. The God shit. Until you can get over the God shit, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing. You can fight all you want. You can vote all you want. You can cry all you want. You can say all that shit you want. Until you conquer the God shit and get that stupid shit out your mind, you always going to goddamn be behind. You always going to be falling. We know it's some type of something happened with something special. Because how is we standing on the earth, nigga? We wouldn't even be here. Something special happened, but I can't explain it. That's what the the first people were saying. They know something great went on. And, you know, they tried to actually do the science to figure it out. But it, it, they got all that shit right. They went to astronomy, astrology, agriculture, everything, building. They did everything right. But when it got to the end part, it, they lost track too. Like, damn, how's I'm going to explain how the earth came? <laughs> they, they was asking the same questions 10,000 years ago, bro. Knowing they the first people that they had to get this shit right because everybody that came after them, if they didn't get it right, this is the way that they was going to believe. And so what did he do? He was smart enough to say, hold up, I don't know the answer to that question. So what am I going to do? I'm going to call it Ami. Which means it's something there that I can't explain. Though I can't explain it, I'm going to still give it credence to let it know that I know it's there. That's all that it is.
family. <laughs> you better get it together. You better get it together. It's very sad to see this. I mean, it really, it, it frustrates me when I know what he doing. He say it. And y'all just eat it. A willing slave. A willing slave? Are you kidding me? Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. If you don't correct the wrongs in history, you are bound to repeat them again. I'm gonna say that again. If you if if you don't look at history and correct what went wrong, it's bound to happen again. And this time, you might not be resilient enough to get through. Black people talk about they fighting in America. You fighting what? You fighting the, you what you going to fight for another 100 years or something like for what? And I love you. Keep fighting. Keep that, keep that African spirit. Keep the lion. But it's going to come a point in time, family. You got to go to the crib, recharge your batteries. Then you come back to the West. If you if you go to Africa, you might not never come back. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody in the world gonna go to Africa and see what it really is and then come back over here. Black or goddamn white or whatever else. Indian or whatever. You see them China man running over there. If Africa is what America say it is, why is all the people in the world running to Africa? And we the dummies over here saying we the true African. Everybody know we African. But we always say, we African. If you don't wake up, your ass gonna die. In shame. Man, there's millions of black people in the world. And I be thinking about this sometimes. Like, damn. You know, my great-great-grandmama and them never knew the truth. So they went down in their last will and testament and shit. Because when you pass it, that's your last life expression. And you go and put a fake story on your tomb. I know they didn't know this. I know they. if they did, they wouldn't have listened anyway. It was ingrained in them, man. It was ingrained in them. It's time to let that story die. Y'all got to wake up. Stop worshiping the white man, nigga. A little puny ass white man, y'all sit up there and worship that shit like what the fuck. And so, if you don't fix it, your children will suffer. Your children will suffer. This is your best time right now. To be an active member in the community and to help your people out and wake them up. This is it. This is the time of enlightenment right now. Right now. The people must wake up right now. Wake up. Wake up. That's why most of the time, you know, I have to come on here, you know, with that, with that general attitude, with that, with that, you know, that, that, you know, fire or whatnot. The killmonger mentality. I have to come on cause because I want you to feel it. Because if you don't feel it, man, y'all you, going to go off into La La Land and become willing slaves again. And I can't let you, I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. For you, the sake of my children and yours. So if you want to keep fighting this fight in America, go on ahead, nigga. Go on ahead. 
they 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 done, they do to take black people, not just just not just the uh 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 you know obvious or what not. As trophies, they used to take black people as trophies and put them in the ring and, and the arenas in Rome. And we're gonna deal with that too. I'm gonna go look that up. They used to deal with the arenas in Rome and make black people fight lions and tigers and all kind of shit. Actually, physically get in the ring and be a blood sport. And then when you go to the arenas in Rome, on the around the uh stadium you got little holes like little 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 trials and at the end it be a hole that's for when they blood let and there used to be so much blood it used to be up to their knees in the arenas straight up straight up and every arena in america is built off the roman coliseums period so you could go to Senegal park in New York and see one of these obelisks that they stole. Okay? You could go to Turkey and, and, and see them. You could go to Africa and see them. They still there. You can go to Ethiopia they're there. But a lot of the more ancient ones, they stole. And took it to Rome. Took it to, took it, took it to Europe. Wanting to be an African. But if you ask one of these Negroes... They not African, but the white man is. If that ain't the biggest piece of sh that I ever heard, the white man African, but we ain't. Jump power! B! B! King! Get free or die.